Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to look at the unique function and we're going to run through a few different examples to illustrate how this function works and some of the different arguments within the function. So to get started we've got a list of names here and what I'm going to do is just type out the unique function and there's only one argument that's uh, essential, the others are optional. So I'm just going to select my array of data, all these names here, hit enter and you'll notice how the list has reduced in size. So what we have here, um, all of these names only appear once. However, this name here, Connor Thompson, appears twice. So what the unique function has done, it's removed one instance of Connor Thompson. So now we've got a distinct list of values where there's only one instance of each name. Now, what we can also use the unique function for is to identify um, values that only appear once in the list so we can do this by adding in an extra argument to the formula so like before I'm going to select my data and then I'm going to skip the second argument which we'll come on to in a moment and here we've got two options now the default is false return every distinct item which is what we ran through in this example but if we specify true we're returning items that appear exactly once so I'm going to hit that and then hit enter and this time you'll notice um, the list actually has two values less than we do over here and that's because the Connor Thompson name is missing entirely from this list and that's because this is not a unique value because it appears twice. Next up we're going to look through a different um, example and we're going to look at an example where we're looking to find uniques within a set of columns rather than in different rows. So we've got um, some data here, uh, sales and returns for the financial years 2018 running through to 2021. Now what you'll notice is um, these columns, we have duplicate values because the sales um, take uh, the space of the, the first year um, the first column of each year and then the returns go in the, the second column so just like that. So what we want to do is return a list of unique financial years so what we're going to do is write out the unique function and we're going to select all of our cells just like this and now because our data is arranged in different columns rather than in rows we need to go through to the next argument and we need to specify true here um, rather than false, which is the default value. Hit enter and we have all of our distinct years. So FY 2018, FY 2019, etc. So that's just a quick run through of the unique function. As you can see, uh, it's a really useful function and you can use it in a range of different ways depending on what your specific use case is.